Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your hostess, Sophia, and you're listening live to the Do You Want to Dance radio show. Don't forget, you could find us on sophiainsapphire.com for past episodes and downloads. Also, if you would like to be invited to our events, please like us on Facebook, Sophia in Sapphire. So, today we have a very special guest he runs a private consulting firm with top tier companies around the world, helping them set up campaigns that dominate their respective marketplaces. For over 10 years, he's been responsible for hundreds of clients implementing successful marketing strategies, and his MVP strategy is known the world over for its immediate profit results. He loves to dance, has a big heart, and an even bigger smile. So please help me welcome William to the show. Oh, don't we have any like sound effects? <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey. Wow. That's so short, that seems like just the way you wrote it. Is that right, William? That is. That is. That yes. is awesome. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, uh, that that was quite long-winded, I know, but I hope I uh, introduced you well. Um, how in the world did you start dancing? Oh, I met a friend of mine, uh, or excuse me, I didn't meet a friend of mine. I was at a friend's engagement party, actually, and that's how uh, I actually met you, Sophia. I met uh, my future dance instructor, who was one of the few locals at the party that evening, and... I was just taken back by the fact that you had a radio show. Like you, you went to the nines to market your business, and I that always stands out in my book based on what I do for a living. And when you handed me a, a nice little postcard that said, "Do you want to dance radio show?" and it had this couple that that looked like they were really into and enjoying dancing, I had to listen in and find out more. So I actually started listening to the show. I'm an avid listener of the <laughs> Do You Want to Dance radio show. And from there, I said, you know, I, I really got to look into this dancing thing. <laughs> and so you and I had our, our first intro lesson, and it was a, one of the best decisions I've ever made. How so cool. tell us, I mean, that's a great thing to hear, but why was it the best, one of the best decisions you know, you've ever made? I've always wanted to dance, but I've always been that guy who, you know, when a group of friends says, hey, let's go to the club or let's go dancing. And I'm like, you guys have fun because <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not going with you because I just did not know how to dance. And to the so point were you the nerdy guy who was sitting at the table, you know, guarding the drinks? Oh, all long? yeah, big nerd, huge nerd. And uh, now I'm working on going to flirty. Yeah. <laughs> yes. making, making, making that transition. transition from nerdy to flirty. Next thing you know, you're going to be a babe magnet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't wait. Because we've had that, uh, that um, moniker has been shared as well. Someone who has taken lessons from Sophia says, you know, now I'm a babe magnet. I can see how that, how that works. Yeah. I really can. After several lessons, I, I totally get that. So, Okay, you've taken several lessons. Uh, tell us maybe about one or two of the dances that uh, you enjoy the most. Oh, that's easy. Okay. I love the Foxtrot. <laughs> the Foxtrot? I do, yes. Uh, the Foxtrot. I don't recall even having talked about the Foxtrot. Really? I mean, Foxtrot sounds okay, but I like to say salsa. So I well, was hoping you would say salsa. Foxtrot is your Frank Sinatra. It's the yeah. elegant long dress dance that oh, travels oh. around the floor. You make laps. I like It's very Foxtrot, jazzy. Yeah. And uh, it's like casual, like a walk in the park. But you're right. trotting. All right. Yeah, it's a, it's a very laid back and, and a word I use, chill dance. Just just fun. Nothing okay. but fun, you know. No competition feel or fast pace. It's just nice and smooth. And, All right. And very elegant. That makes sense. And in addition to the foxtrot? You know, I would say my next pick would probably be the rumba. The rumba? I do. I do like Ooh, that. Ooh, yeah. the romantic rumba. All right. <laughs> Yeah. I was going to ask why, but after Sophia explained it to me. We can I, still ask why. I think, I think we get, okay, why do you like the rumba? The rumba is a little more fast paced for me, but it's right there on the edge where I feel like I can learn a lot and still enjoy dancing in general. Mm -hmm. So I, I just like the style of dance and the music that, that you dance to, or the type of music you dance to with a rumba. 
Now, earlier you had said something that kind of intrigued me. You said that uh, that you think business, uh, successful businesses, are much like dance in a variety of ways. And I can't wait to hear uh, you explain how you think that successful businesses are related to dance. I mean, how do those two come together? You know, I, I think more accurately, I probably should have been more direct on that, and that is that business is a dance of sorts. Okay. Yeah, so business is, is like dance in, in the terms of what you need to do, what you, what you think about. Uh, it activates multiple parts of your brain similarly as to dance. I don't know if it's 76%. That's amazing, by the way. <laughs> but it is uh, a very active um, uh, environment in things that you do. So everything from you know, pacing, uh, partnerships, relationships, the, uh, you know, the giving and taking. You need to know whether you're actually leading or if your partner's leading. You need to know the moods. Um, a lot of it comes down to timing and being able to just know things uh, like the back of your hand for yeah. dance. And that's dance the most business. important. I think timing is everything. But FYI, if you cannot dance two time uh, at a competition, for example, you're disqualified. Oh, there, wow. <laughs> it's not like who danced the best on time. It's like if, if you can you if you're not on time, you're not. Nobody gives you uh, time of the day. Goodness, yeah, so, that that makes sense. I mean, you're either on time in business, uh, physically, or on the phone. You're in time, hitting on all cylinders, or you're not making deals happen. Well, when you made that comment, what immediately came to my mind was, as a business, you have to be in tune with what your client is saying to you, the cues and the clues that they are giving you about what they want, what they expect, what they desire from your business. And if you come to the marketplace with what you think is the right product, the right service, without regard for your business partner, aka your customer, then you know you are just being an idiot. You know you've got to listen and watch for the cues and the clues that your customers give you. And when you pay attention to their clues. You know, yes, you're leading, but you're also paying attention to what the customer wants. They want it in blue, not just the black color that you make it available in. They want to be able to pay via credit card or time payments, not just simply in cash. You know, you have to listen to them and take their cues if you're going to have a successful business relationship. Is that a fair uh, way to describe it? That's, that's more than fair. More than fair. Absolutely. Uh, I would say... On, you know, on another level that to make the experience more enjoyable between yourself and the client when, in relation to dancing, when you get the moves right, dancing is so much fun because you're, you're, you're making it happen together in that partnership. And the same thing happens in business when you're on the phone, when you're in person and you're making a deal or you're executing on that deal. It really makes that difference when you're not over pushing your boundaries or you're meeting people where they are. It's very important. So you've talked about the parallel between dancing and business, but is there anything in particular or any experience in particular that made you kind of go like, huh, and relate it back into your life and business? Absolutely. Uh, there's a couple of main areas, specifically effective communication and communication on all different levels. So, you know, body language, how I say things, so, to, so tonality, and then what I'm saying, uh, all the way down to uh, having more patience, understanding that it takes two to tango. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, sorry for the pun, I know that was horrible. The, uh, but the idea oh, is... Oh, don't be sorry, we've used it many times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the infinite patience, I, I call it, is, um, you know, also known as unconditional love or, or things along those lines. Those are very important foundation uh, principles and, and key principles to, to run your business off of or to come to learning dance with. Awesome. Well, we will definitely expand more on that, but we have to segue into our next commercial break. So stay tuned. We will be right back after these messages. Clear. 
What a time flies, doesn't it? it does. You know, I'm I'm streaming live through Ustream. How are you? Yeah. I don't know if there's a way to link that. Uh, do you know what your Ustream is? Uh, well, it's my username is Sophia and Sapphire on Ustream. That's... Do you have a URL, that, a direct URL? Uh, that you can go to? I don't know. Slash Ustream slash. Go back. Go back. Okay. It's quite long. Ustream.com. Dot, no, dot T, no, no, no. I'll send it to you okay. on, on my own Facebook to myself. Yeah, time flies. I mean, we have a Ustream, so I should know what it is. Yeah, but our Ustream URL is a long thing, too. It, it is. I know, but just trying to figure out what it is. Okay, I sent it to myself, so it should be in my inbox. How are you doing? I, I kind of want to talk more about the patience thing, and maybe we can talk about the learning the dip yesterday. Life. Okay. So experience all the joy that, and the capture dip. your the unity. Dip. These memories will last forever. As pictures and stories hey, I got a, a on line of family question in here. Friends. I want to throw it out and see if you it makes sense. Okay. Moment that focuses on the I've danced Give your guests the with a number of parties. women this in, the, in the past. Family story. Some of them the have you know, really good... The first timeless accomplishment some together. of them we connect very well you with, and others it's like, you know, okay, so we're doing it, we're dancing, but it's, we're not really connecting. A lot of, I think, uh, there can be a parallel so drawn in business. In, Sapphire, in business, there are some clients that you know, we get along with and we work well with, and others, and you know, it's a, it might be a struggle. Absolutely. Is that a good place to go, or should we? That's, I believe, now 110%. So, is that a good way to go, Sophia? Sorry. Dance part. Sometimes when I dance with the partner, yeah, oh, it's like we're, we're making yeah. the moves, but yeah. we're not really connecting. Yeah, yeah. And then, same thing That's in business. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's when you hit the hookah three more times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Am I right, William? Huh? Am I right? Yep. Up and up, William. Yeah. <laughs> so that's an acceptable That's perfect. Why wouldn't it be? I just want to make sure. Oh, wow. Because you guys had some a, a direction you wanted to go. Well, uh, but can I go in my direction first? Certainly. How to dance. Improve your verbal Certainly. and non-verbal so you communications with your partners. Dance partners, Do it in partners, so we can go from the dip to partners. Yeah. Because okay. so I'm going to talk about, we learned how to dip yesterday. And we didn't learn how to dip. I learned how to dip. She, she even dipped me a few times. Do I double dip? Yeah. <laughs> don't double dip in the chips. Remember that from Seinfeld? Yeah, remember? Absolutely. You can't double dip. That's George. You, think of you, dip, you took a bite that? and you dipped again. He's <laughs> a double dipper. Well, let me tell you, Chucky. <laughs> you dip the chip the way you want, and I'll dip the way I want. <laughs> oh, here's the guy who becomes a babe. The babe. Sophia made learning how to dance fun and easy. It turned out that by the end of the challenge, I wanted more. So I continued on with more lessons. <laughs> so I asked Sophia out. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Sophia, and you're listening live to the Do You Want to Dance radio show. Don't forget, you could find us online on sophiainsapphire.com for past episodes and downloads. Also, if you'd like to be invited to our classes, events, and meetups, please like Sophia in Sapphire on Facebook. Uh, Co-hosting with me today is Magic Al Jensen. Yes, indeed. I want to give a shout out to one of your newest uh, Do You Want to Dance Sophia in Sapphire Dance students. Can we do that? Yeah. Madi Cruz Rand is listening All to the right. Do You Want to Dance radio show. Oh, yeah? Madi Cruz, good to have you with us today. Wherever you are in the world, we look forward to having you back here in Las Vegas next week and uh, taking part in Sophia and Sapphire's uh, meetup group as well as those uh, those private dance lessons. So, uh, Marty Cruz, great to have you listening in today. 
Yeah, well, thank you for the shout out. Yeah, she's come on uh, a few uh, lessons with me and we've been going over, you know, the Latin styling and the right. ladies technique because she said she goes to these uh, business uh, conferences and uh, a lot of times there's some parties, you know, in the evenings and music is playing, people are sure. dancing and she is one of those that is not partaking in the dancing fun. So she said, Sophia, Please show me how. <laughs> exactly. and, and she's got some rhythm, doesn't she? She does. She's she picks it. up quite quickly. And, you know, the cool thing is everything that we do together with her, uh, you can do it with a partner or without. So it's like killing awesome. two birds with one stone. That's awesome. She's a great young lady and uh, glad to have her uh, be a loyal listener and a Sophia in Sapphire follower. Awesome. So today our special guest is William Mears. He's from Mears Venture Productions, known for his MVP strategy all over the world for its immediate profit results. Welcome back to the show, William. Thank you. So we stopped uh, with the last segment talking about patience. Um, but I think there's a lot to be said about that because both from a student and teacher perspective, just like with a client and, uh, you know, a sensei perspective too. <laughs> but anyway, so you have to be patient when you deliver information and the receiver has to be patient when they trying to get it. So, uh, you know, being a beginner dancer and going on this dancing journey, uh, any two cents on that? Absolutely. Um... Patience is, is, again, yeah, very important. The There is a way that you can influence that, though. Oh. Yeah, it's not just about your patience. It's also, like you said, about the patience right. of the person that you're working with. And there are key phrases and things that you can say, things that you can do to kind of put people's mind at ease before they take on something they think is going to be stressful, and then in the end they really enjoy it because of the right. results. Right, right. So those things are... For example, the phrase, that's not a problem. I love that one. <laughs> Anything you have, oh, but I've got, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's not a problem. Just calm down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll work through it, right? Very this is disarming. what we're going to do. So those, are, uh, those things are very, very helpful in, uh, in exuding patience in yourself and your, and your clients. Yeah, you know, what's funny is uh, a lot of times I see that stress, you know, on private lessons when I'm teaching or even in group class. Um, I want to see how the students, they're almost about to lose trust just because they're so frustrated and they don't know, they don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. And I, I have this confidence within. I know they're going to love the lesson by the end. And inside I'm just smiling because I'm like, they have no idea what's coming because in just a few seconds, they're going to realize how to make it feel so good. I remember being there not too long ago, myself personally. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, the last lesson we had. Uh, oh, tell us more. <laughs> I will. We were learning the dip. That was yesterday. Yes, that was yesterday. So you lesson. know how to dip? <laughs> I know how to dip. Now awesome. he does. Awesome. And he's been dipped. And I've and been, he's been dipped. I have been dipped. You can dip and be dipped. I can dip and be dipped. Awesome. To dip or, dip or not be dipped. Now there's something to put on your resume. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about that. That was, uh, at the beginning, very frustrating. Uh, you know, I work, I do what I can uh, on the drive over to get really in character and focused on how, you know, how my dancing lesson is going to go, what I'm going to gain from it. I'm going to make it awesome. It's going to be fun. And yesterday was just sort of an off day, not not horrible, but we, we tackled a really difficult move, something mm. that was very challenging. The mm -hmm. dip is, is not an easy task to do properly. Yeah. And there were just there was just one little thing in my way, and I got so frustrated. But as soon as you showed me in a different way what that what that was and how to fix it, everything fell into place and clicked. And I was a dipping crazy maniac. <laughs> dipping crazy maniac. You know what's funny is that I saw you, you know, for in in the beginning, and and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna get this. This is too hard. <laughs> this makes no sense. And I'm like you're almost there it's just a hair away and um it's just you know those tiny little things sometimes it's the tiniest little different decision or approach or even explanation not everyone is the same kind of learner so um tailoring you know it, communications to each other really helps to unveil 
the secret. Oh, no doubt. Or that's true. Or I wouldn't be dipping today. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be a dipper. You would not be a dipper. And you will be dipping today. And I will be, yes. Well, so to, tonight uh, we will be at the Cosmopolitan Connections at uh, Gene Wood's Racing Experience. And um, I'll be there. I'll have my banner. We'll be taking pictures. And we will be dipping with the guests. All right. All right. So William will be dipping the girls. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'll be, I'll be dipped. And you'll be dipped. By the gentleman. All right. Yeah, I got a question. Can we bring it back to, uh, to patience for just a moment? Sure. sure. You know, I've uh, danced with, uh, I, I don't keep a number, but uh, with a lot of women in my days. And I've noticed that some of them, you know, certainly know the footsteps and they know the moves and they know what to do. And sometimes there's a real connection and the rhythm is there and it feels good and it feels right and it just works. Others, even though they know the steps and they know the moves and they have <laughs> the rhythm, it just doesn't feel like there's a connection. And I sometimes would get impatient, wanting there to be a, a fluidity, I want it to be a better connection. Is there anything that you can relate perhaps in that situation to a, to a business um, situation as well? Absolutely. Uh, I'm very selective, highly selective on who I choose to work with based on a set of pre-qualifications that, that I have for, for who I do business with. So anything from you know, how they do business, what their policies are, what their attitude is like, so there's a lot that goes into it, and I can relate that. Yeah, much to dance. There's, you know, if you've got a poor attitude, you're not willing to learn, you're probably not going to be the best dance partner. Uh, or if you just have different personalities that just don't mix sometimes, you know, that uh, that sometimes has been the case in, in business for me. Yes. Yeah, so sure, I know that as a, a consultant, and is it fair to consider you as a, as a consultant? Absolutely. I know as a consultant, and I've done numerous consulting gigs over the years that the smartest thing you can do as a consultant is fire those clients to whom you do not connect with. That's absolutely true. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> as well as dance instructors. If you've got those uh, students who just, you know, don't get it or aren't coming along and just, you know, can't, can't uh, dance to the rhythm, then it's time to, to cut bait and move on to somebody else. Oh, that's never been the case for me. No, <laughs> business. My viewpoint, actually, <laughs> absolutely. In my viewpoint, I agree with you, Al, 100%. Um, the, the idea there is I want to serve the clients that I do have 100%. Right. And I can't do that if someone's not not jiving with Not in me. unison and harmony and that's not exactly dancing to the same drummer that you're dancing. <laughs> that's right. exactly it. Exactly. So do you have an example or a client example? Yeah, absolutely I do. I've um, got a few of them for you. Um, I have a branding client that uh, recently was able to uh, take a million dollar a year business and uh, double that, but at the same time cut down on his employees, which he had 50 some odd employees working for him at the time. So he now has, it's him, his spouse, and a full-time virtual assistant. So three of them running uh, a double revenue business with uh, a fraction of, of the wow. staff. Yeah, and his clients are, you know, really digging the new service and, and his deliverables I've been able to help him with. And uh, I, I've been able to show him how to, to get in touch with people without, you know, spending tons and tons of money on advertising, just reaching out through his existing network. So can you let us know what what is a good fit for you? Who is a good possible candidate to be working with you? Most any business owner that obviously has a great attitude. <laughs> I love working with happy people. And if you're unhappy temporarily, I totally get it. If you were happy at one point, that would probably still be a good fit. Um, I'm looking for people that, that are at that six figure level, but want to up it, up their game to, you know, seven figures or more. And that's, that's right there in the sweet spot. So if somebody wanted to get to know more, uh, where can they find out more information? I would encourage them to go to a, a website that I have that I've put together specially for uh, Las Vegas, uh, or Las Vegans, I guess I would say. Uh, I wouldn't say Las Vegasans, would I? I wouldn't say that. Okay. You can say whatever you want to. <laughs> so it's mvphighroller.com, so H-I-G-H roller.com, mvphighroller. 
Oh, I've been on your ride. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, the See, idea, the theme of high rollers is, is kind of where that comes from. Yeah. Or if I anybody wanted to reach out on the telephone and call you, what number would they use? <laughs> they would use my 800 number. Which is? It is 800-411-6472. Very good. Thank you so much. So we have to cut out to our last commercial break. We will be right back after these messages, and you'll hear more on this. Clear. Sophia, what's the thing out of D? What's tonight with Cosmopolitan? Yeah, Cosmopolitan. It's there's an event invite. Okay. It's in my YouTube. Oh, I'm just, I'm just putting it on that. Where, 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 where you guys are going to be tonight? Oh, Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Connection. You can uh, tag Cosmopolitan. Connection or connections? At Cosmopolitan. I'm sure. Connections. Connections. Are you funny? Do you want to be funnier? Want more laughs from your speech, business presentation, or act? I'm Big Magic Al Jensen, and in addition to being a radio show host, she has her own I perform page my too. comedy okay. magic act on stages across I'll Las Vegas that. and cruise ships around the world. I've consulted and coached well, in speech contests. Are you relieved? Stage performers and business professionals who want no. to know more about like their conversation <laughs> and presentation. You're not worried. The same no. for you. So did we leave anything out? Al, what do you think? Well, what coaching, should we do in the last second? I think. Uh, I think uh, Crazy Bob should call us. Really? Yeah. Okay. In fact, I was going to give our phone number out. Your humor. Check out funnyjustgoteasier.com for more information on personal coaching and workshop dates. That's funnyjustgoteasier.com. Hi, Rollers. Hi, Rollers. Hi, it's Sophia from Sophia, Sophia and Sapphire. Sapphire. Here with a personal this invitation is the new one? to join no, me as that you right here for my How to Dance in Real Life Situations beginner class. Is this your Begin your journey that from nerdy to flirty while you learn how to make dance more, more than, than just, just a one time day. thing. Join my <laughs> How to Dance in Real Life Situations meetup at meetup.com and visit Sophia in Sapphire.com for more information. Good afternoon, Vegas All Net Radio. Are you sick and tired of not seeing consistent growth in your business? And who's on the line, please? <laughs> Yeah, man, we're going to be talking about these pictures that have been up on Facebook with the hookah stick coming out of your mouth. Yeah, we'll be talking about this tomorrow night. And I'm prepared to be talking about this tomorrow night. I don't know if I'm kind of liking this or not here, man. First thing of all, you don't even call your old buddy to come share, man. I got Monty Cruz going to call in, too. Yeah, yeah. So, Is there enough time? Uh, hold on. We'll see. Sorry. <laughs> this is the new one. A great way yeah. to rekindle the romance with your significant other. Increase your <laughs> is that from today? Good afternoon, Vegas All Night Radio. Can I help you? Quality time and learn how to dance. Improve your verbal and nonverbal. Okay, hold the line. She's got one caller ahead of you. Okay, stand by. That will both mentally and physically. <coughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay. okay, Robert, stand by on one. You girls on line two. Okay. Try to keep it reasonably uh, short, so you can plug the uh, CC tonight. Sophia.com or call. You're going to have about four minutes left in the show, okay, folks? Oh, that's not a lot. Got to make it go, man. Dance lessons, of course. I'll count you down to the music outro. The at 5345. So special. The Sophia and Sapphire experts are like dance. And the Roxanne testimonial after this, and you're back. Easy and comfortable. They're professional, passionate, and have a playful company culture. Let's just go right to the uh, right to the caller. Yeah. Down, and the I'll try to keep it to a minute. Okay. And Cruz to a minute. The milestones are exciting. Fear and intimidation no more. It's like no other. Fill out the Get Started form and get started with the Sophia and Sapphire Dance Superheroes today. Up, up, and away! Hey, Roxanne, what's going on, man? This is the girl online. And we found Sophia and Sapphire online. We had a total of 10 lessons in three months and put together a routine that was easy for us to learn, secured to our first song, and that made us look good at our wedding. Our wedding dance specialist from Sophia and Sapphire was amazing. Patient and taught us the dance moves. Good boy, I plugged the right one in at the right time, didn't I? Yeah, that would cost you. Like us, but still learning. Put it on a lens tab, okay? Scheduling was flexible, and we were able to get a certificate. Maybe we'll get a certificate. Thanks, Sophia. 
There we go. He owes me about 20. Oh, oh, sock that gives him tickets, okay? I hear you. Let's just put it this way. We can eat for a while and you and I, right? Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your hostess, Sophia, and you're listening live to Do You Want to Dance Radio. Don't forget, you could find us on sophiainsapphire.com. We've got a caller on the line. Let's welcome onto the show. Who's calling, please? Oh, is this crazy, Bob? Oh, my goodness. Well, confess away. You what? What's that? <laughs> well, I mean, if you've got any excuse, that's going to be a good one. <laughs> that's right. What a brain. And the guy can dance, too. Wow. That guy can dance. Well, uh, hey, Bob, thank you so much for calling. We really appreciate you calling. And, uh, you know, keep tuning in. We'd love to hear from you next week as well. <laughs> you might be a little <laughs> snooker. Okay, keep, don't, don't quit your day job. <laughs> All right? All right. All right, we Bob. Go to another caller. Thank we you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Bob. we got another caller online who's online with us. Hello. Hi, Mari Cruz. How are you? What what's up? You're going to be able oh, to use. Oh no! I think I think the connection is. Uh, yep, she got it. Okay, well, we're but start. she is going. She is in Florida on a conference, and she is going to be doing some of the moves that we learned that is awesome lesson. because she is uh, she's come to some of your uh, meetups and taken some she's private taking dance lessons. private dance lessons and we're learning you know the ladies styling latin movements mm -hmm. because she says a lot of these parties have latin music and if she's in florida you know there's going to be some good latin Ooh, music la, going la. On down there, for sure. <laughs> i thought you were going to say you know there's going to be some good latin men down there. <laughs> I, i'm going to leave that line to you i'll leave that line to you so uh, what do you got going on tonight, Sophia? So tonight there's an awesome event at the go-kart racetrack. It's called the Gene Woods Racing Experience. And Yvette Auger is putting it on with Cosmopolitan Connections. She puts on a networking event every week. And I'll be there uh, with a banner, dressed up. And we are going to start um, with the night taking pictures and dipping the guests. Doing some dips, dip the guests, and let the de let the guests dip you as well. Ooh, yes. yes. Perhaps you'll join us out. You know what? I think I'm going to make it out there tonight to the Gene Woods Racing Experience. So. Where is that located? Um, that is located on East Sunset Road, 121 East Sunset. Just east of Las Vegas Boulevard. Yes, and it's, sports complex. it's not far from Town Square. Right, right. So that's a great event. Uh, we always love the Cosmopolitan Connections, and, uh, and Yvette does a great job, and we're expecting uh, lots of people out there tonight. There's going to be some live bands, as I understand, and there's going to be some free food and uh, discounted uh, go-kart racing. It's going to be a blast. Lots of fun. Lots that's right. Fun. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, thank you, William Mears. Oh, you're welcome. That Any last shout-outs there? No, uh, just... Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Yep, and thanks to uh, Diane Fox for uh, for blogging live or, or posting live. Yes, thank on you our so much. Awesome. That was fun. That's awesome. We love doing that. All right, everybody, make sure you tune in next week at 4 p.m. for the Do You Want to Dance Radio show. I'll check you later. And everybody's clear.
Casper is the gifting you want to get. Tune in again next week for more interviews, advice, and insight into how you can go from nerdy to flirty and learn how simple it is to turn your dreams into reality. Reality. On reality. I'm John Winquist. And I speak in Echo almost all the time. Time, time, time. time. He speaks on what? I speak in Echo. <laughs> Thank you.